right, Virgo, you need to know this right now for April the 13th through April the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for April the 13th through April the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for April the 13th through April the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for April the 13th through April the 14th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Virgo. Virgo, these are your cards, honey. So, Virgo, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Virgo could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Virgo. Clarify death for Virgo. Clarify death for Virgo. It is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense, but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone, but this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with someone or you're coming in trying to explain, give your explanation, excuse or defense here. Now, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that, you know, you're ending something here. Your standoff is shunning because they shortchanged you or because they were giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Or Virgo, you're telling me that you're wanting to transform things here and you may want to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse or defense and bring balance or even give them something Virgo, you have the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. 
This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Virgo, listen, you know, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Virgo. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now listen, you can tell me that you're standing your ground when it comes to family here. You can tell me that your guard is up. You don't trust something to deal with family here. Or you're telling me, you know what? Because it very well could be them coming in with some type of bling bling shiny thing speaking on commitment and you're a little hesitant and kind of standoffish here. Virgo, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Virgo, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, trying to perfect something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Virgo. Clarify the lovers. For Virgo, clarify the lovers. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Six of Pentacles again. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else giving to two. Now Virgo, listen, you know, you can tell me that, hey, you know, they're trying to give me something here. We have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. I want to work things out. I'm just going to go ahead and work things out. Virgo, you can tell me that you feel like they were giving more somewhere else, giving to two with another other lover, someone that they work with or do business with here. And this is why you're highly suspicious. Virgo, you can tell me that this is some type of an agreement with work or business here and you're being shortchanged here. And that's the issue. Virgo, you have the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Virgo, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for Virgo. Clarify the four of wands for Virgo. Clarify the four of wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. 
Now, Virgo, listen, when it comes to maybe commitment here, you're kind of holding back, holding back. Commitment, commitment, holding back, holding back. However, you can tell me that you're holding on to your coins for your financial stability here. Because, like I said, you could be being shortchanged here. Virgo, you have the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There is no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Pisces. But you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. However, you could be changing your perspective here. Clarify the hangman for Virgo. Clarify the hangman for Virgo. Clarify the hangman for Virgo. It is clarified with the page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me you guys had some type of immature, premature communication or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords. For Virgo, clarify the page of swords. For Virgo, clarify the page of swords. For Virgo, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Virgo, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Virgo. Clarify judgment for Virgo. Clarify judgment for Virgo. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Virgo. Clarify the chariot for Virgo. Clarify the chariot. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past, flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. So, Virgo, listen, you know, Virgo, you know, for some of you guys, this is some type of family dynamics going on, maybe involving children, okay? But, Virgo, I feel like before you make a decision or a judgment, you're going to look into things before moving forward and reuniting with this person, okay? I feel like you guys are wanting to work things out. They could be coming and trying to give you something here. You know, maybe even wanting to go into commitment, wanting to transform things with you. But I feel like you're going to be a little hesitant and you're going to be patient and you're going to look into something before you give the okay to go forward with reuniting with this person. Virgo, you need to know this right now for April the 13th through April the 14th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace